YouTube. I'm back for my baby, motherfucker. Oh shit! Hold on, oh, hold on. He's still taking the fucking ride. That's a fact. As long as my spare key works, I'm out of here. Oh shit, never mind. He gonna steal that bitch back. Okay. Smart nigga to get a spare key, bro. He gonna find you though, nigga. y'all welcome back to another video hey if you new make sure you leave a like comment share subscribe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video now today we have power book two ghosts season four episode two man episode one was a banger we saw how Tariq and Braden came in there man they was knocking bodies down dropping bodies off bro bro it was a movie it, it was exactly what they said it was gonna be man they killed Junior I ain't gonna lie Junior Junior was doing too much for his character it's like he was doing too much after everybody told him like bro leave it alone and anybody again i said in the last episode anybody in the power universe knows anytime a cop is being told to leave it alone or whatever and they still don't listen at that point they just they doing it to themselves you know what i'm saying it's sad to see him go like that but it was hey what else can we do how the fuck does pause know um don carter how how does she know him they, they gotta explain that if you know if pause knows don carter she had but Don has to know ghosts. He has to. Monet is awake. So I want to see what she's going to do this episode. I want to see what Noma's going to do this episode. I'm scared for Obi still because this man did like the whole, like like all episode one, that nigga was covering his ass. That nigga was covering his ass the whole episode. So I'm scared to see, like, I'm scared for him to get found out. And what he does is going to hurt because it's like season three, Obi was like a crazy nigga. That nigga was crazy. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see what's about to happen. Also, a lot of y'all told me in the last video, a lot of y'all was like, you know, Brayden's father had a right to feel how he felt. And yeah, Yes, he did in a way because Braden's choices led up to that moment, you know, what came and coming in the house threatening his family and shit. But what Braden's father said to him, calling him like a white monkey and all of that, I'm not letting that slide. I'm not giving him a pass on that. Y'all can miss me with that. I'm not giving him a pass on that. I don't want to do too much talking, man. So we're gonna hop into this reaction. If you guys end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys want to see more of me and get my video with the channel out there, you gotta like the video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit the subscribe button. Oh my god and the channel as well and hit that patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video man so without further ado let's get right into it tell tommy this is a gift from monet to hot fucking letter had my mom's address on it you get your trust oh yeah you get out. also a lot of people was like that camera footage from kate's house i wonder if that's gonna really be a thing or is it is that a thing or y'all feel like people was reaching with that y'all feel like that's gonna actually come up or is that a reach just imagine us just living like two normal college kids for once you was. What did you do, to do? bro? Kill I ain't like agent. that. Damn. You gotta find a way. To I he did, he did it to himself. This active shooter kills the agent who's investigating St. Patrick. And then St. Patrick shoots the active shooter and comes off a hero. Why are you finishing my sentence? Because you talk so slow. Pick up the fucking pace. All right. Even though we we know what happened, it it would sound believable to like to some people, depending on who's listening. You want us to bring in the kid or poke around the school? I got this. Just make sure all the teams crossing their T's. All right, you got a bumps. Bro, leave Tariq, bro, leave Tariq alone, bro. It's like, there's so many other crimes to solve. Why is he y'all main priority every time, bro? Tariq, you're f oh, hey, uh, you're Braden Weston. Fuck you, man. My mom lost her pension because of your family. You know, I'm 20 years old. I had nothing to do with that shit, right? Dickhead. Hey, 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 hey we can shoot the fade right now. That's me. Right, your rich ass cousin got you a nice job in real estate. You'll be fine. The job sucks. Real estate. Well See, this nigga Braden got all opportunities. This nigga got so many opportunities, bro. He went from, this nigga went from, like, before selling drugs, all we know, this, this nigga just had an easy ride. You know what I'm saying? Then we see him in college with Tariq, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. The only time we see him doing something legit other than selling drugs was when he worked at, like, their firm, the Western firm, right? Western Holdings. Then, because, because they fucked that up, real estate, my nigga? Bro, this nigga, bro. This nigga has the whitest privilege ever, bro. And I'm not trying to make it a race thing, but... The, but this nigga Brayden got 
opportunities out the ass, my nigga. You're not in prison. They let you back in and they give you student loans. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Debt. And I have no fucking money to pay it off. So what? Damn, never mind. You're not right. supposed to be smarter than everybody. This motherfucker's blindsiding me like I'm some dumbass civilian. You know, maybe I don't deserve to be in the game no more. Oh, we just I mean, talking about how look, nice man. It is. Tariq. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes even ghosts got blindsided and still found their way out, bro. So you, you're you not going to win at everything, bro. You're not going to win at everything. And plus, you should have known if he was going to play you, bro. He plays you twice already. Like, come on. You should have you known that was going to happen. Now, Drew and Diana, that's un that's I can understand because he wouldn't he didn't see that coming at all. I wouldn't expect it that. You know, but Kane doesn't know. So he don't know. Kane doesn't know anything. So, but he will. He's going to find out. How's that arm treating you, Felipe? Look, I asked around. Nobody knows shit about who took those shots at Mornay. I forgot about the Castillo family. Like they didn't, and this nigga gonna, this nigga Kane gonna do this to, uh, to what's her name? Like he didn't knock her block off like last season. Like, come on, bro. What, what do you want me to fucking lie? You gonna bring give me some fucking answers? Fuck you, man. There ain't nothing to fight. Ooh. This one. Ooh. Chill out. Oh, bro, if they really go with this idea that if they're going with the theory that I think they're going with, bro, <laughs> dog, bro, y'all already know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's an investment in your future. There's one more interview spot left. You should go for it. I want to see what that debate class going to look like. How kind of this Detective Carter to open a new market for us. I know this network. They supplied the Russians. High volume, steady demand. Just what we steady need demand. to replace our lost business in Europe. The Tahadas won't like it. Who cares what they won't like? Tell our little trio they're just going to have to go along with this one. See, no more feeling, no more feeling herself. I've been right? wondering if like your that. best hasn't already been given away. Ooh. Maybe to whoever got you those green cards you've been begging me for. We obtained oh. those through the embassy, ma'am. Hmm. Bro, how the whole hood know about the green cards, bro? Somebody, somebody snitching, bro. How the how, bro? I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of, that's lazy writing. I'm sorry, that's lazy writing. I mean, I can understand why she would know because she knows about his family, but everyone else knowing in, in, in episode one, other than the people that was involved, that that's lazy writing, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm scared for this nigga, though. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Um, aren't we supposed to be doing prep for this assignment? Oh my God. Just a couple more sets. This nigga, David's about to put in, David's gonna put Just in some work. You like what? Exactly. You're my boss. Really? Am I though? I'm representing you. Is he? Oh, you want to be on top. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like that's not their first time doing that though, because the way it was just so easy for her to just like, just, just do it with him. I feel like it ain't their first time. Streets don't know who came for you. Well, y'all ain't looking hard enough. Because we're not looking at Tariq. Kinda said it wasn't Tariq. After she said it was. Look, we all hate the nigga, but that don't mean he did it. Real shit. You don't have a reason to hate on Tariq, Drew. Kane, yeah. But Drew, you don't have a real reason to hate. And Diana don't really hate the nigga at all. I get why he said that, but that was stupid as fuck. No, nah, that was just dumb as fuck. Fuck, like, no, I don't get why he said that. That was stupid as fuck. Bobby and fucking Whitney over here keep protecting this nigga. Why the fuck would we protect him? Nigga, I don't fucking know. Use your fucking head, Kane. Diana was in the car with me. Exactly. If the Russians get in with Noma, they gonna push us out, and that shit is gonna be bloody. Yeah. That truce I negotiated with them was fucking fragile. Yeah, nah. nah, we said all that, and guess what? She don't give a shit. Fuck that. That bitch need to hear it from me. Man, please. She, she gonna be back up and running in no time. Welcome to the banality of evil and leadership. A political and psychological exploration. Bro, this this classroom scene about to... Ooh, everybody in here too. This classroom scene about to be a... Ooh, it's about to be a bitch. Ooh, here we go. No matter what their goal is, they think they're the best person to do it. That nigga look familiar. Not necessarily. Maybe some just want it more than others. So where does that want come from? Yeah, let's talk Defeat. about that. Suffering, shattered dreams. There's no better motivator. Mm. Out of the ashes may rise the phoenix. Or not. Oh my I think God. history shows that most successful leaders win and they use that success to breed more success. We do not care. For reviewing if you the always trying to run up somebody, that's, bro, that's, that's a problem. Is, we have concluded that your license to practice law will be temporarily suspended pending your disbarment hearing. Okay, if I may. We have to take these allegations seriously, but you will have a chance to defend yourself. That nigga can't catch a break. Hey, can we talk? 
About what? Tariq. Effie, what do you want, bro? I was fucking angry. <laughs> that nigga called her bro. That's. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm loud. That nigga called her bro. That nigga said, Effie, what do you want, bro? That's, nah, if your nigga call you, if any nigga calls his girl bro, in that way, yeah, 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 y'all done, bro. I wasn't thinking when I told Noma about us finding Anya. I, I think she was gonna try to fucking kill you. Effie, what the fuck did you think she was gonna do after hearing some shit like that, huh? You didn't think she was gonna try to kill me. Bitch, you was busting back at me as well. You you was shoot you shot at me. What you talking about? Nah, bro. See, see, nah, bro. Now she's trying to backpedal, bro. See, this is the type of shit I don't like with people, bro. I don't, bro, no, bro. Now her blog gotta get knocked off, bro. I'm sorry. I made it up to you. I texted you that Kane was out to kill you, so. That doesn't make it up. Are we good? That doesn't make it up. Fuck no. Exactly. What the fuck? That doesn't make it up. That does not make up for none of the shit that you've done or what you did in that whole episode or episode 10, season three. No, nigga, not, not, by, a, not by a long shot. F sound fucking stupid. I know, I know you look at us cops as simple people. I got some fancy friends. In fact, you might've seen a couple of them at your hearing this morning. Here's a proposal. You fuck with my life? No, fuck yours up. Mm. We clear? You want me to sit around and do all the work while you play sorority, girl? Look, Effie, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Welcome to my world. That shit is mad hard, ain't it? Oh, boo-hoo. You think I don't want more time to study? Okay. Well, you said the Russians need products, so what's the problem? Oh, my God. Now she finna... Oh, my God, bro. What's it you want to discuss? I'd like to request a bigger cut. You increase the amount of weight you want to make looking like that? I have met that week after. You also have a dangerous misunderstanding about how this all works. See, all you've done is exactly what I've asked of you. Mm. Now, if you're unhappy with your terms, there is a way out. What if I brought you more business? <laughs> See, I don't business? like that. Questions. What do you think you can do that I can't? Sometimes the right man for the job is a woman with a whole lot of moxie. I guess. I'll give you 24 hours. Hope they don't kill you. ta -ra. Sure. Oh, hey, girl. Remember you used to visit me in that sixth floor walk up? Ooh, child. My mom, yeah. my, my mom stay saying that shit. Oh. Really? Baby? Damn. How old is she supposed to be? This girl about 13, bro. I'm doing what I can, Momo. I got to prove myself first. Then I can ask for more product. So how did she meet uh, Mecca? How did she meet Mecca then? Like, where, where does Mecca come into all of this? Because now I'm confused. I don't know where you think you're going. And these are strong. So? Just one, okay? One. Yeah, please, she's gonna be all right. Why exactly are you here? Slowly. To help your daughter Oksana's time in the 200 meter backstroke. Nah, you tweaking. Why would you do this? You tweaking. I mean, she's not, he, she's not threatening him though, that's the thing. I already told Noma, it's not gonna happen. I know. Gonna happen. I also know how, 9 p.m. tonight, we go together. She'll be waiting. 9 p.m. tonight. What time is it right now? Bro, this is your job? Yup. One out of three. I don't even know when the fuck I'm gonna have time to study. Shit. You study? Considering he was supposed to keep Zeke, like, you know, grades up and help Zeke pass, but I don't know how, I, I don't know. That was the whole point of him being in school too, you know, but I don't know what's keeping him in school now. I don't know. L, you <laughs> so Hey, that was fire. I think okay, so this is supposed to be L. Okay. I can contribute to that future. My dealer just moved. If you're looking for 20,000 square feet of commercial storefront in Midtown, oh, I'm guy. Okay. <laughs> I just caught what she said. That did not work. Hey, I can do better. I... Sure. Do it. <laughs> That's fucked up. She said, a realtor? Ah, I'm good. Tariq St. Patrick, son of James St. Patrick, one of New York City's biggest pieces of shit. No Damn. code, no loyalty, just shit, really. And you smell just like him. What? I see keeping that that heart rate down. Keeping your breathing nice and slow. Oh, you're a good fucking liar. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I know who you fucking are, and I'm gonna put you where you belong. Mm. By the way, talk to your moms lately? Chill out. Tasha St. Patrick, your mother. Back on the streets where everybody's gunning for. 
Damn. That would keep me up at night. Damn, dude. I didn't think they would need to keep her in Wissak anymore considering her and Tommy are cool now. So I didn't think that they would need to do that. You ready to sacrifice my kids after they've been out here busting their ass with you? Manet, she needs to go don't down. let me tell you again. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what? No, no ma. Ma. Oh, oh, my God. Because that she, oh. Bro, hold on, wait, hold on. Because she she's not supposed to be there, bro. She about to root. Monet about to fuck it up, bro. Monet's gonna fuck it all up, bro. Oh my god, bro. But everybody timing in this episode is just terrible right now. It's just very fucking terrible. I see any of you again, I blow your fucking head off. Yeah, you fucking try, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Damn. Fuck you. You, 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 you ain't take your pill? There was a rising star on the path to some city hall kind of stuff. When his wife was killed, run down outside the ER where she worked as some dealers were finishing off the dude on the gurney. Who? He started this narcotics task force, and since then, he's been going hard on every drug-related motherfucker in New York. Is he dangerous? He ain't like the cops you've been dealing with, so watch your fucking back. Yeah, like, I bet. like this nigga's different. Thank you, Dave. His wife was killed outside of ER. So just, so just random, really. No one important for real. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the flashbacks. That's smart, but that's crazy. You went behind my fucking back to get more product. I asked you to do it ten times. It wasn't fucking time. Then how come I got it? Mm. Don't fucking mix our kid with business, Mo. That shit, shit will not end well. Shit, too late for that. But it seemed like, so it seemed like she started everything. What the fuck was you thinking, Monet? Excuse Move. Excuse me? I was protecting all y'all. No, you out here looking stupid. That shit could have got us all killed. Kane, enough. All right? She's just trying to help us get the situation. Oh, Diana, she's trying to take over like she always does. The oh, she's not. You. <laughs> Damn, the one nigga that really wants her dead. You know Kane. He's always wanted to be in charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he took a lot of interest in the bullets taking me out. No, nah, not him. No it ain't yeah, him. I got no other leads. You will find out who did it. You looking at him. We got you. Tariq, what are you doing? You were supposed to call tonight. I mean, I went by the house and Yasmin said to see you. That, that fall off is so insane. To think that she was the wife of a, what, a multi-million dollar man. Take the drugs away. This nigga was... Even with he was gonna go legit, really he he wanted to be legit the first episode. We already know that, so I ain't gonna get into that. She could have been, bro. The, she seeing what I'm seeing, Shop Depot, bro. Went from being a stay at home mom, bro, not having not having to worry about no no type of financial problems to working at Shop Depot, all because all because you didn't like the way, all because you couldn't accept the fact that Ghost wanted to be legit. My question is this though: if 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 Ghost did go legit and she would have supported that, do y'all think he still would have chose Angela? Over her, that's a. That's, that's, I want to know. I want to. Let me know in the comments below. This detective told me that Wisek is about to kick you out. Is that true? They didn't appreciate that I went MIA, so they told me I got one more time to fuck up. Fuck me. Come back. It's dangerous. Bro. Okay, baby. I promise. All right, Rachel. Better. Everything okay? Rachel. Uh, yeah. Sweetie, we don't bring our personal life to work. I'm gonna need you back at the registers. Chris, What's we've that? talked about this. I'll be back over there when I'm done. First of all, keep your hands off me, nigga. What the fuck? Since when would you ever let anyone talk to you like that? What the fuck? All is right, listen here. I don't have a lot of options. You need to leave now. Like, <laughs> like, like she, like she just said, she ain't got listen. options for real, bro. Tom about says when he let people talk to her like that, what can she do? But worse, what she did was stupid and dangerous and could have exposed everything, including you. Yeah, well, I can't control what the fuck Monet does. Well, too bad, because now you have to fix it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She pissing me off this season, bro. I don't like no more, though. Something like that. Well, I something like don't want that to happen to you. Hold up, is this my phone being hacked? Is this Josephina Morales actually saying some real shit? Josephina okay, Morales. All, never call me Josephina. Yeah, she's pregnant, bro. They showing this shit early on. She's pregnant. But who's the father, though? Because cause you got Tariq and Celine. I really wish I didn't have to do the things that I do. But I couldn't be the mother that you needed, the mother that this family needed if I didn't do them. I'm here thinking you're about to apologize. And instead, you're justifying what you did. I thought she was going to apologize for a fact. Like the same way she apologized with uh, Diana. Don't fucking do that. Oh, she's, she's poisoned. I know. 
But look, if you do this, if you switch her pills, there's no going back. I'm already there. Drew, no, you're not. Nah, yeah, he is. I hope she's listening. We don't have to be, you hear me? We don't have to be. Look at me. We can be better than her. I know we can. I mean, that kind of doesn't say that they did it, but I hope she gets an idea. Mm. Damn. Damn. This is the one time I, I kind of feel bad for Effie. This is the one time. Artillery. Clean. One condition. From now on. I deal with you. I only talk to the girl. Figured. Damn, no one's not gonna like that though. I mean, with the shit that my mom was going through, I can't even do nothing about it. I'm making eleven dollars an hour washing chalk straps. <laughs> I mean, who fault is that? <laughs> shit is crazy. Bro. Who fault is that? We need to make real money in order to protect our families. Do you not remember what just happened to Becca, to Trace? Fuck we Trace. Y'all literally was just complaining about being normal high school kids and being out the game. Just an episode ago. Now you got a nigga got a taste of the real world and, and, and what it's really like when you're not in the game. All of a sudden, and now you want to get, now you want to go back in. Nigga said, Nah, I ain't with that. I want to be back. I want to get back in the game. I need some money. Like, damn, bro, the this, this switch up is crazy. Are you serious about this? Yeah, some fucking serious B. You think I like being broke? Worrying about what the fuck is gonna happen to my mother next? Who fault is that? What I do know is I'm definitely not cut out for a nine to five. Which actually turns out to be more like a seven or nine on a good day. Great, and I don't think you never had a nine to five at all. Large over well, the home test was accurate. So she's pregnant. So I'm pregnant. You think you know who the father is? Of course I do. Who? You really have to ask yourself do you have the right kind of environment and family to bring a new life into the world? Hell no. Nah. You extended an offer on my behalf without my knowledge or sign off. <laughs> This will help set your mind straight. <laughs> Excuse me? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could convince you that I was right. Okay, so can you please get your fucking guard dog off me? Guard dog is crazy. The ball's on you, huh? You know what? Release him. You want me to take over, ma'am? <laughs> Why don't you head out, Obi? Oh, it's like it's like Obi starting to become less and less like important. To Noma, in a way, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying that to say because it's like season in season well three last season, like she was like she relied on this man for everything, like every little thing, like she relied on this dude. But now it's like it's like she it's like she's starting to not need him a lot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, too bit. I'm back for my baby, motherfucker. Oh shit! Hold on, oh, hold on, bro. My nigga, two bit back. Oh shit! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bet I want to see two things happening. Either Tariq gonna steal. Well, how can he sell the Porsche back if Bro got the keys? So let me, let me just forget that. He gonna probably talk to Two Bit and probably get him to join in in exchange for what I don't know. Money I don't know, bro. I'm just mad they not doing the like the theory where like it would have been a theory where like they would have shot at the Porsche thinking it was Tariq, but really it would have been Two Bit. Then it would have been fucking Two Bit would have had a reason to try to kill these niggas and team up with Tariq. But never mind. I mean, I'm saying like the, sometimes the, the the power fans be having some theories, bro. But the writers never want to go with it, bro. It's like give the fans what they want, bro. He's still taking the fucking ride. That's a fact. As long as my spare key works. Yeah. Oh shit! Never mind. He gonna steal that bitch back. Okay. Smart nigga to get a spare key, bro. But he gonna find you though, nigga. Get the fuck out of my car! What the fuck is my shit? Nah, no, that's right, nigga. That's my shit, nigga. What, nigga? That's my, my shit, nigga. What you talking about? I don't know, bro. What? what? Still that shit back, nigga. Oh my god, this nigga talking to you everybody, bro. To whoever pushed through that green card for your brother, bro. Cause that shit happened fast as fuck. We're gonna talk more about it later. Come in with me. Hands on the car. Are you serious? Bro. At least Tariq got his horse back, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna show Two Bit again. Like that's not the last we've seen of Two Bit, bro. So why should I believe you wasn't the one that took them shots? Because it wasn't me. I right, Monet. I don't know what the fuck else you want me to tell you. Why the fuck you think I would come after Tasha? Because that's what Kate Egan told me. Who the fuck is Kate Egan? Oh my God! Yo, dead ass. Who the fuck is this? She 
Tell but, me that you gave Tommy Tasha's address. Let's go. Tell her. Fuck with Tommy's bitch ass mother say some shit like that. I didn't want to do that or something. No shit. Bro, we need the camera Question footage. Put bro, if fucking Tariq can just go back. Oh, 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 go, bro, go to Tommy's mom together and ask her, bro, and say, is this who you is this who you saw? No, that wasn't her. She was a younger girl. Bro, oh, that's gonna be so fun. Bro, please, bro. Bro, please go talk to her, bro. Question is, who put her up to this shit? Cause that motherfucker's gonna die. We go get this paper. Oh my god! Yeah. Stop this, we pop All right, y'all. So that's gonna end. Well, that was the end of the episode. Oh, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, it's so much time packing this one. I thought they was gonna go to. I, well, they're not gonna give us the whole scoop in one episode, obviously. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna let it build up. Obviously, they're gonna let it build up. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, Tasha working at that shop depot. Big. That's a huge fall off. I feel bad for this nigga Obi, bro. Obi was it's like Obi was like Obi was really an intimidating nigga in season three. Only for this nigga to be like it's like a it's like his intimidation is like going down each like each episode. You know what I'm saying? He only in episode two. I feel like each episode is gonna go like further, further down. Doma is feeling herself way too much. She's, she's starting to become more annoying. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she wasn't at, I feel like she wasn't even this annoying in the last in the last season. You know what I'm saying? But in this one, she's like, do what I say, do what I say. You seem to forget how this works. I'm the boss. I'm the I'm like bro, like, okay, like bro, like you dragging it, like shut the fuck up. Drew, like, it's the fact that like this nigga, I understand why you again why Drew wants her dead, but this nigga is sweet. So I guess the theories with Diana being pregnant is true. I'm glad they pushing this early on though and not waiting middle into the middle middle of the, the season to do this shit. I ain't like this nigga Michael. E late all this nigga is questioning everybody. This nigga is really Davis is Davis was right. This nigga is on a mission, dog. This nigga's on a mission, bro. This nigga dude, bro. Like this nigga question. Obi, Tariq, uh Davis, everybody. Shit, nigga, nigga, every fucking body. Most likely I feel like the the I feel like with the writers are gonna make Tariq be the father, considering she was the last one he slept with. Yeah, she didn't because she didn't sleep with Celine. No, cause, yeah, yeah, she didn't sleep with Celine last. She slept with Tariq last, so it, it would make sense if Tariq was the father. Uh, Effie, like I said, that one scene where Effie went to go talk to the Russians before then, she checked her phone and was like, you know, she missed her interview. That's the only time I could really feel for her. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about how she feel in other in other scenes and shit. Like like the one scene with Tariq talking about, I made it up to you. That doesn't make it up for nothing that you've done. That doesn't make up for none of the shit that happened prior to the situation. Like, what are you talking about? That nigga got it. That nigga got his Porsche back. That nigga Tariq got his Porsche back, bro. But I feel like they, they're gonna bring two bit back. They're gonna bring it back. I mean, he's gonna figure it out. I feel like he's, I feel like he's gonna figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But it was smart for this nigga Tariq to have a spare key. Smart nigga, bro. Smart ass nigga. I don't know. I think that's about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think that's about it for right now. No, 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 no. Davis is uh, uh his lawyer, nigga. She's so fucking fine, nigga. Nigga, she's so fine. Oh my god. But uh, I think that's about it. I think yeah, that's gonna end this reaction. Uh, yeah. So if you guys did end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. And hit that Patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video, man. So until next time, stay lit.